A new study is confirming concentrations of so-called forever chemicals in fish found in the San Francisco Bay. Now, the data uh, comes just days after the Trump EPA uh, decided to delay regulations aimed at phasing out many of those chemicals. But as we now hear, staying climate ready can often mean staying aware of the impact we make with our choices. Stroll onto a pier in nearly any corner of San Francisco Bay, and you'll probably find someone with a fishing line in the water. And for many, the fish they catch is an economic lifeline and a big part of their daily diet. For a lot of us, it's cultural. It's, you know, our, ha our, our heritage is what we do. LaDonna Williams is with the environmental justice nonprofit All Positives Possible, headquartered in Richmond. The group works to identify potential toxins present in the fish caught in the bay. Not just mercury or other well-documented pollutants, but a class known as PFAS, sometimes called forever chemicals. If we're really not aware of it and there's no regulations or regulatory priorities put on it, that definitely harms us. In a newly released study, researchers from the San Francisco Estuary Institute examined 10 different species of fish caught from more than a dozen locations around the bay over the course of a decade. The study confirmed roughly 20 different variations of PFAS, which can come from plastics and other manufactured materials. Rebecca Sutton is a senior scientist with the Estuary Institute and co-author on the study. A major concern with PFAS is that these are extremely persistent in the environment. They do not degrade, and that's why we call them forever chemicals. Using one of the few existing PFAS standards, they found fewer than one in five of the fish sampled would be rated as safe to eat once a day and samples from the South Bay tended to be significantly higher in PFAS than northern parts of the bay. While the results are new, researchers believe that following existing standards based on other chemicals, such as mercury, would still offer a rough guideline for safe fish consumption. And they're hoping the new data will help regulators in California provide even more refined advice for groups fishing in the bay. California can develop those guidance for our own populations and we can all eat more safely. Fish is a very healthy source of protein, and we'd all like to be eating fish from the bay. We just want to do it safely. LaDonna Williams also believes the information will be critical moving forward, especially to groups who rely on the fish they pull from the bay and its estuaries for a major part of their diet. Being able to reduce harm, as they say, before it starts, that comes from understanding what it is so that you could change your habits or you could change decisions. If you don't know about it, you can't change it, right? So the group All Positives Possible is currently helping with the study of fish caught in areas around the Carquina Strait with an eye on confirming local concentrations of PFAS in fish caught in the area.